Where are we going? To the fucking Hamptons! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel from the intro you guys know that this is going to be an engagement story all about how I got engaged in the Hamptons I've been teasing Jared for a really long time about getting engaged and Not so much like the need to get married, but I just wanted to be like a sexy fiance You know what I mean? I think being engaged is so incredible and exciting and so I teased him a lot. I'll link some <laughs> some TikToks below that I made that accidentally went a little a little viral. But yeah, I so I've been teasing him. We've been together for like six years now. So obviously I know that he's gonna be the person I marry, whether or not we get engaged. So it was more like a little harmless joke. Every year his mom goes on vacation and he's one of six kids, so they always his mom always gets like a crazy big house because it has to fit so many people and last year during the pandemic we went to cape cod and my best friend and his best friend both came and it was so fun and i remember thinking like i think midweek i was like why are they here why i love that they're here but like is are they here for a reason like because it was jared's idea to invite them and nothing happened then obviously <laughs> and so i we had talked about it like we definitely were very open and we communicated a lot about what we both wanted and so when we when as the summer went by and i wasn't engaged i was like okay it's gonna happen in the hamptons it has to all of his family are gonna be there my best friend his best friend like it's a no-brainer right and we had so much fun last year in cape cod so now in the hamptons it's gonna be even better right so <laughs> the weeks leading up to it were really nerve-wracking for me not because i had a clue about anything i just like had this like intuition that it was going to happen the week before we leave i get an email from his mom saying that we're gonna go on a boat ride like a yacht like a yacht dinner at sunset and that was kind of surprising because i was like hmm is this is it gonna happen on this boat or is it a celebratory boat ride what's happening because this this doesn't seem like the vibe of the vacation so it was very strange so i remember i was with my friend sophie i'll link her stuff here she's amazing and i was like grabbing her like oh my god am i gonna get engaged on a yacht in the hamptons is that my vibe <laughs> is, that what, is that what's gonna happen to me so i was freaking out and i had been thinking about this boat ride because i was like this is a beautiful this is gonna be so beautiful this is going to be it i was fully convinced so i bought this for love and lemons dress which i'll link here and i was like this is what i'm gonna get engaged in this is it i'm ready so <laughs> the night before his mom is like texting us in a group being like we're going to this dinner the night we get there make sure you bring an appropriate dress and shoes because it's it has a dress code so i was prepared for that we get <laughs> jared and i are in the kitchen in the morning before we we're gonna leave and i was asking him, i was like do you know the name of this restaurant that we're going to tonight and he was like no no idea and no one seemed to know the name of the restaurant and he he said to me he was like you know just bring something wear something that you're gonna be comfortable in wear something that you you know feel good in and feel confident and good and comfortable just make sure you do that and that was a sign to me because i was like since when have you like been so invested of course i'm gonna be comfortable like that's just like what i like how i dress myself but, like when have you been so invested in this so that was a second clue i was like okay could it be happening tonight? Who knows, at this dinner? No one se can seem to tell me the information about this dinner. We get to the Hamptons, we get to the house, it's incredible, like a such a beautiful house. And they have this pool, so we're in the back, um, on the deck, in the pool. It's hot, it's, it's so nice. And then all of a sudden, his mom comes out and is like, okay, dinner's in two hours, so everyone needs to get ready. And it's it's all of us are in this pool, so we're, <laughs> we're going and going upstairs and I shower first and um because i take the least amount of time to get ready and i shower first and i come out and i was like 
I don't know. Like, everyone keeps asking me about what I'm going to wear tonight and asking me like if I'm going to take pictures or TikToks. And it just seemed a little fishy that everyone was so con like concerned about what I was going to wear. So I put on the For Love and Lemons dress and I filmed this clip. Taylor, you look so pretty. Is this a video? Yes. It's about to be a crazy night. <laughs> Which is so funny because looking back, like, I should have known. I should have picked up on it. And so <laughs> I go downstairs and everyone is hyping me up. They're like, oh my gosh, Kelsey, you look so beautiful. That dress is so pretty. Your shoes, your bag, your makeup. And it was just a little too much. And so I was, that was like another thing. I was like, I'm so glad I wore this dress because maybe it's happening at dinner. And we were so hungry. <laughs> I remember, I remember being like, oh my God, like I need to leave. Cause like, I'm going to pass out. I'm so hungry. So I go to the bathroom on the main floor. Everyone else is in the living area on the same floor. I go to the bathroom and I'm scrolling TikToks because number two. I was nervous <laughs> scrolling TikToks, and then one was like a very silent TikTok, like people weren't speaking in it and all of a sudden i heard nothing from the living room no one was saying anything it was very weird and so the first thought that, that came to my mind was like oh my god they left without me or they're all like outside on the deck without me and then i was like maybe they're working together on this like maybe they're speaking about this this engagement that's gonna happen that i don't know is happening so i left the bathroom i come out and everyone's like oh like all chatty chatty again sketchy <laughs> so we all go out on the deck and there are these bluetooth speakers that are like rocks around the pool and jared's sitting there and he had been sitting outside on the deck this whole time for like 40 minutes while i was getting ready and um so he was sitting out there and i just assumed that maybe he was hangry <laughs> and like didn't want to talk to anyone because we were all so hungry and jared's vegan so it's kind of hard for him to like snack on things and he's on the strict diet right now so i was just like oh he's hangry we i get out there and we're you know we're vibing to music and we're all talking about how hungry we are like we are and that's real like we were very hungry and <laughs> so then me and jared are sitting next to each other i'm trying not to like poke and prod him because i i think he's hangry and we get a text from his mom and she's like oh my god there was a problem with the cat sitter um with my she has two cats there's a problem with the cat sitter and i just i need a moment for myself i need to like call another person to come feed the cats because obviously we're, we can't like that's important and so both everyone was like oh like come on we're so hungry like f this cat sitter what the hell and so that takes like another like 10 minutes or so we're all still vibing to Drake, right? And so his mom comes out of the house. <laughs> My heart's kind of racing talking about this again. His mom comes out of the house and she's like, okay, let's go. Everyone get ready. And I remember she didn't have shoes on, which is so funny to think about now because I was like, okay, let's go. But she didn't have shoes. All of a sudden, Donny Hathaway, A Song For You starts playing. And I look over and Jared's like, wait, we have one more thing to do. <laughs> I'm going to start crying. <sighs> and so he, th that song's playing. I'm sh I think he put it on. He takes my hand. He's like, wait, one more thing. And he gets down on one knee. And I'm just like beside myself. I, I'm like so shocked that it's happening right now in this moment because I was hyping myself up for the restaurant. So he, you know, he says all the things and it's, it's perfect and it's beautiful and all of all of his family and my best friend and his best friend are standing there and it's just it's so special and all of a sudden this guy jumps out of the bushes what and <laughs> it was a photographer and he's taking pictures and everyone's filming and it's just so sweet and so it's such a wonderful memory and I'm so happy 
like, I mean, he could have proposed to me in the living room of our apartment and I would have been just as happy, but it was really special having everyone there. <laughs> so I'm crying. He, I, he's not crying, but he was shaking. He was like, his hands were like this. And, um, so his mom comes over, she hands me flowers that Jared had and it was just, it was wonderful. And then I'm marveling at my ring. I'm like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then he tells me that he put a little sneak detail in it. He put little emeralds on either side of the ring because he knows how much I love green. Like, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. It's like such a beautiful detail and it's so special to him and I because we both love the color green and it's just, it's almost like it's just for me and him because at first glance you can't really see it. You know what I mean? So <laughs> long story long, there was no dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it was all a lie to get everyone dressed and like have it be like a really special moment they ended up ordering dinner i think <laughs> i think we got like veg veggie burgers and fries and it was wonderful i was so happy and it was really nice we had a wonderful week and the boat just ended up actually just being a boat ride <laughs> a really nice excursion for everyone to go on that's the story i'll insert a little clip here a little sneaky sneak peek of what the engagement looked like <laughs> and it was so special i I wouldn't have changed it for the world. It was, it's like a memory that will last forever. And I mean, even still thinking about it, I could start crying. <laughs> um, we, both of us like cannot watch the video because it's, it's just like, whew, the waterworks will just flow. <laughs> I am going to be balls to the wall <laughs> with wedding content. So follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you don't already. I will put my handles right here. I've already started doing a little bit of wedding TikToks about dresses that I love and stuff like that. And I'm really excited to bring you along the way because I have some great ideas and who knows if they'll work out. I obviously... I've never been a bride before, so it, we're all gonna be learning together. So yeah, follow me on all my socials. I am going to be making a wedding series on YouTube. I'm gonna try my best. Keep me accountable, please. Like, <laughs> DM me. Where's the YouTube content, please? Um, but yeah, so I really wanna make that a series for YouTube as well as TikTok, Instagram. You'll see everything everywhere. So subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.